Hey, this is Greg Howard uh, doing another video for you guys. Uh, this time we're going to go through my work boxes, what I carry on the road. Um, this stuff varies. I have multiple work boxes, but uh, try to get a basic set of tools, at least in my fly box. And um, anything else, you know, larger that's not going to fit in here, either goes in my rolling work box or a Pelican. So basically this is what I roll in with every day. Um, this is my personal work box. Um, on Aerosmith, uh, the band owns the work box, which is about twice as big as this one. Um, and that's great. So I usually just carry um, what I call my fly box and then also a Pelican with just miscellaneous stuff in it. So when I go out for a tour and also depending on how big the tour is, um, it depending on how much stuff I take. But I try to, we're going to go through today, we're just going to go through my fly box and, uh, and the auxiliary box and kind of uh, show you guys just you know kind of the bare minimum at least for me. Um, so I walk into my gig and uh, You know set up my uh, guitar world wherever it be side stage backstage um, We're not going to go through this box, but this box carries a lot of you know tape batteries um, you know tuners guitar parts tubes amp parts, you know, whatever I can whatever I can carry uh, that I think that I might need if I'm in the middle of you know Germany somewhere and can't get to a guitar center or anything any place to, to buy you know uh, a preamp to 12 x 7 or something so so that's the uh, that's the rolling work box and uh, this is my fly box um, I, I built all these boxes um, I've had this this rolling work box I've had since 1998 uh, it's been all over the world multiple times and actually has sat in it's my home shop has sat in my home shop for a number of years because um, like I say on Aerosmith um, and on Green Day the band owned the work boxes so it was just great usually there would be a drawer in there that I could put all my miscellaneous stuff in so I would just carry around my fly box and, and a pelican so uh, this is my fly box I built it uh, made it look like uh, one of our three monkeys uh, sock monkey amps uh, Thought it was pretty cool, um, and it's a basic size that uh, pretty much everybody carries. So it's basically uh, a guitar workstation. So you open this up, neck holder, a um, couple of places for storage, and then uh, tools. So uh, this is not organized. Uh, there's kind of no way to keep it organized as it gets thrown around by baggage handlers and just just being in the truck. Uh, normally it would. It would live in uh, a, my bottom drawer of this rolling work box um, when I'm out on tour, once I get out on tour. So, uh, just quickly go through um, what I've got. So, up front here, um, I've got some Gorgamite um, for cleaning fretboards. I do clean fretboards. Uh, I've got some Smith Pro uh, polish for cleaning the guitar. Uh, Big Ben's Nut Sauce is normal. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Floyd Rose Allen key tool. Uh, I always carry this one of these little dollar six inch rulers. It's actually, there's multiple ones in here. Uh, these are really great for uh, checking the action and just measuring, just, you know, general measuring of small things. A uh, few Stumac tools in here, you know, for seeing if a fret's rocking, a string action guide, uh, tuning fork, just in case. You know, actually need to tune the guitar without without the the help of an electronic tuner. Um, and I always carry china markers, so black and white for marking knobs, marking you know amp settings. You know, pretty pretty basic stuff. And of course, somewhere in here uh, for Gibson truss rod tool. And that's basically that. And then in the middle spot here. Uh, it's basically my string changing tools, so string stretcher, um, sorry, string stretcher, and uh, I can't remember what this is called, oh, Music Nomad. Uh, this is really good for clean, cleaning fretboards and for cleaning the headstock. Also, um, it's got a kind of a little makeup brush for just getting dust and stuff off. Really dig that. Uh, was turned on to that with um, one of my buddies uh, in Steely Dan turned me on to that, uh, another tech. Uh, string winder. Um, Wire cutters, string cutters. I always keep a notebook uh, that has 
pretty much, I've got tons of these and they all got every guitar change pretty much I've ever done. That way I can tell, I put down the, the show, what guitar it is, what gauge strings it got. Um, if I change anything on there, action or whatever, I will um, even note that down so that way I can look back at it. Always a uh, hazard of the job, uh, picks, you know, for, uh, for whoever I'm working for at the time. So that's that uh, middle part over here. Um, love these, love these. Uh, probably got it at, you know, Harbor Freight or something. It's a little magnetic, um, you know, screw holder, parts holder. It's always good for, for throw. If I'm taking a pick guard off something, I throw all the screws in here, uh, like on a fender, or if I'm taking the back off of a Les Paul, I'll just put all it in here. It keeps it for, you know, if it gets knocked over, most of the time the magnet will hold it in. Um, again, more picks. These uh, Brad Woodford picks. Uh, bottle opener, you know, in case uh, you need to open something for your dude. Uh, cigarette lighters, very, very useful. Um, your guy smokes um, or just, um, you know, for some heat shrink or whatever you need to, to use it for. Uh, earplugs, usually these are for guests. Um, I have my own molded set of uh, filters. Another uh, string winder, just in case I need that. Usually um, some miscellaneous strap locks. Uh, this is, I think it's a Dunlop one, um, but any of the little um, kind of uh, rubber grommety ones or uh, the little Dunlop ones that you, you flip are just really good for in case a new guitar gets brought in and you know you gotta throw a strap on it really quick and you don't have time to put real strap locks on there. So I um, also carry around uh, my Peterson Strobo Plus HD. Um, this is the latest one I have. Um, and I've carried around Peterson tuners uh, since the, since I first started, um, my original one is sitting on the shelf here, model 100, um, and it's a little dusty since this is also my wood shop. But my, my favorite being of all the traditional strobe tuners was the Peterson 420, uh, which is in my office. So, anyways, big, big stuff now. Always uh, a couple of polishing cloths, uh, another uh, cord pitch black tuner. And in here, a Core GT12. I really like these tuners, um, either a TU12 or this GT12 for, um, for the needle, um, you know, VU meter or whatever you want to call it. Really good for setting intonation. Um, I also can, you know, obviously do it with a strobe tuner, but I really like to see what it looks like with the needle. So that's, uh, that's how I do that. And obviously more polishing cloths. So, this is a really good, uh, this is just like the bare minimum stuff I usually carry. Um, the Stuart McDonald, uh, I can't remember what it's called, guitar assortment, uh, screwdriver assortment. Great, great tool. Um, always use that. Multiple Allen keys, both metric and standard. Um, the Mitchell's abrasive cord, which I, I showed in my 3 plus 3 video, really good for um, Les Paul bridges um, to keep burrs out. Also, also works on fender bridges. Um, so cable for uh, the tuners um, and we got multiples of those. These are actually the three monkey solderless um, that my partner and I designed um, and I always carry some of these. Uh, miscellaneous um, needle nose and more, uh, you know, end cutters. You know, I've, I've got multiple um, wire cutters just just because I might lose one. Uh, these are really good uh, surgical um, scissors. Uh, I always carry colored electrical tape. This is really good for marking cables. You know, what goes, uh, you know, say like a speaker cable, you want to use a certain speaker cable with a certain amp. You, I mark the back of the amp by the jack, then I mark the uh, around the cable. Uh, this just really helps. Also for plugging in pedal boards, really helps. Always carry that. Uh, multiple screwdrivers of all shapes and sizes from uh, from Craftsman. Um, definitely keep those around. More China markers. Uh, a couple of Unibits, just in case. Um, if I do have a drill, if I don't have a drill, probably a carpenter um, will have one I can borrow if I need to uh, to make a hole larger and use these nice Unibits. Uh, this is for checking polarity on power. Um, you know, just base, it's just a basic tool. It takes all the guesswork out of it. Also for ground lifts, just in case. I don't like lifting amplifiers or anything, but if you need to lift something in an emergency situation or in with rental gear or something, you know, 
good, good, good to have. Um, probably one of my favorite tools and something I've had forever. Something I got at Radio Shack, you know, 20 years ago. A couple of alligator clips with wire in between. This is really good for um, when you're rewiring an, a guitar or an amp and need to check something or hot wire something really quick. Really, really dig these. I actually got these recently uh, when I was out with Cheryl Crow. They're the same thing, alligator clips, but they actually uh, have the end that goes in my multimeter, and which is in my other box. So these also work great. Um, a little uh, extra little kind of USB fluorescent light, which is probably not charged, but it is rechargeable. Um, another little small ruler, you know, scissors, um, crescent wrench. That's pretty much it. Oh, uh, always carry this little butane soldering iron. Um, I've had this for many multiples of years. Uh, Radio Shack made them and uh, you know you can get them at Miles or a couple other places but always good for an emergency or outdoor show or whatever you can't get to you know your regular soldering iron. Uh, capo comes in handy for a multitude of things, screen changes, uh, just in the bridge, whatever. And a uh, little Stumac um, radius gauges, which are, are good for if you've got a uh, fender style stuff. So, so let's go to the Pelican. So normally carry this as kind of a medium size uh, Pelican. I just took this up to New York um, doing a bunch of TV with Aerosmith. So um, not a ton of stuff in here. Um, I normally carry around for my, you know, zip ties, a little fast fret. Um, I carry around some baby powder um, for those outdoor shows where you guys, your hands getting all gunky or something. Hit it a little bit, hit a little bit of the back of the neck. Really works well. Um, always carry these alcohol swabs, which are really good for, you don't have time for a string change, but the strings are a little grungy. You can just take them out, run them up and down the string, and, uh, and you're good to go. Uh, multimeter, fluke multimeter. Um, you know, got to have it for checking power, polarity, uh, whatever, and, you know, ohms, whatever you need to check, always good to have. Um, roll of uh, black gaff, you know, pro gaffer, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, a, it's the standard. Um, <laughs> since getting older and wearing uh, glasses, reading glasses, um, this, uh, this kind of jeweler's um, hood really works out for, um, if I'm working on something intricate like a bridge or some wiring, definitely uh, this goes on my head. Uh, I have to think, uh, I think the first person I saw using this was uh, my friend Bill Webb, who is uh, Eric Johnson and Ben Harper's tech and uh, a mad genius, a great guy. Uh, I, I got that idea from him. Uh, some strings, uh, this happened to be from uh, Whitford, uh, from the last Aerosmith thing. Uh, couple of little tools. Um, uh, Swiss Army cable tester, which I've had forever, um, and it, it does MIDI, it does RCAs, it does quarter inch, it does microphones, um, it does eighth inch, pretty much everything. Um, it also will send a test tone um, down one of the quarter inch lines, which is, which is great. So, had that for years. Um, been carrying around this little utility box, oops, this little utility box for, um, for quite a while. Uh, my partner Ozzy made it for me, and this one's great. Uh, again, cable testers, both for DC and for quarter inch. Um, it also has um, three nine volt outs at 4,500 uh, 4, milliamps, which is really good. I, I've used these on award shows where I basically f throw this down on a pedal board that I don't have time to wire up you know, AC to. If I'm only using a couple of two, three um, pedals, I can just put this on the pedal board and then wire them up uh, with our DC solderless cable and be good to go and just, it's a throw and go because a lot of times we only have 30 seconds to a minute of commercial time to actually get set up for these, these TV shows and award shows. So a uh, great little box and uh, it also will do a polarity swap if you need to go from a center negative to center positive, say on a fuzz pedal. So uh, if I was using a little small board that just happened to have a fuzz pedal need that uh, positive, I can just run it right into here and uh, flip that. Or I can, or I can run it from a, from a power supply, um, like a Voodoo Labs or whatever. Um, recent addition uh, from one spot is uh, there, it's basically a milliamp uh, meter for DC. Uh, DC in, DC out. You basically plug out from your 
power supply or from a battery and then into um, goes into this and then out of this goes into your pedal and this will tell you how many milliamps that pedal is drawing. Really helps out with making sure that you've got the right size, um, you know, Voodoo Lab pedal power or a Strymon uh, Ohio or whatever you're using. Uh, you need to make sure that you've got enough power in there to power everything on your pedal board. So you always check each individual pedal um, with that. Uh, another great tool, um, I think my buddy the Chief turned me on to this um, great tech for Dixie Chicks and um, My Morning Jacket, etc. And this is the Keith McMillan uh, Batometer, which basically, uh, or Batometer, you know, depending on where you're from, and basically this will register, which will, this will tell you if you have a, if you have a pedal with a 9 volt battery in it, you just plug this into the input and uh, hold the test button and it'll actually tell you without taking the thing apart uh, you know say you have one that's got got screws on it like this you just plug into here and it'll actually tell you how many volts are on that battery so if you need to so you so you know if you need to change that battery without having to go through um, if you just happen to be using batteries instead of using a power supplies and also we'll just you can just put a 9 volt battery on this as well um, to tell you the It'll tell you it's alkalide, and it'll tell you it's 9.2. Pretty cool. Um, great little, great little tool. Um, and then normally I carry around, I carry around some of our Three Monkeys uh, solderless cables just to um, just to have on hand. Um, the quarter inch patch kits and the DC kits, and extra some kind of spare cable. Always carry around battery powered. Um, lights uh, like these you just from mighty brights and you know take some uh, AAA batteries is really good just you know set it up here I can illuminate a set list or whatever and even if I need to work um, and I have a few that are even larger that um, that will work off AC let's see what else we have uh, I normally have uh, solder and iron as well in here full-size solder and iron with um, solder and flux and all that stuff that is uh, on my workbench since I'm not on tours sitting on my workbench inside so um, and then just miscellaneous you know uh, tape measure uh, comes in handy a lot you have to measure road cases and uh, lots of batteries triple A's double A's um, I like to carry around uh, a few of these little clips uh, really good for you know and I don't have any in here, but normally I carry space blankets as well, which are little kind of mylar blankets um, for camping and stuff that you can put up if the sun's shining in on your guitars or rock shining in on you. Um, really good to clamp those up with, with those. Altoids, always good to have. Um, you know, more uh, more ear more foamy earplugs, uh, a couple of knives, and as of lately, been really really digging this. Um, uh, TC Polytune uh, clip, which I use for acoustic guitars, uh, really works well in a kind of live environment where, you know, the band's blasting away, you know, not 15, 20 feet from you. You can put this on here and I keep it on a lanyard so I don't forget to take it off before I hand it to the guitar player. You know, I don't want him going out there and with the thing running around, on, on, you know, so that's just a really good kind of useful kind of utility tool. So normally when I fly out, all this stuff would go in my rolling work box and that was where it would continue for the rest of the tour and then when I go to go home out of the work box it comes if it's not my work box and back into here and then I fly with this and my fly box back to uh, back to home so that's pretty much it um, you know not you know this isn't a ultimate work box or best work box it's not you know none of that stuff uh, this is just what I have um, I also carry around, normally in, it, it stays in the Aerosmith work box because it belongs to them, but uh, nut slotting tools, um, files, a few other things like that, are, you know, just really good to have. So, thanks for watching. If you guys really dig this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.